We're here today to introduce you to a new feature of the SASPI monitoring system. The SASPI system now is capable of sensor nodes. Sensor nodes can be three different options. The first option is to monitoring additional tank level sensor within your sugar bush. So additional tank level sensor and vacuum port to monitor additional collection points, a single port vacuum sensor to monitor the end of main lines, or a dual port vacuum sensor to monitor the end of two different main lines. This allows you to continue to keep close tabs on your sugar bush, gives you peace of mind knowing your vacuum is at operating at peak performance, allows you to quickly pinpoint those leaks in your sugar bush, and even allows you to collect um, or monitor additional collection points within your sugar bush. Every sensor node works together with the sensor hub. The sensor hub is, a, is what you know and love today, an all-in-one device that monitors vacuum, tank level, temperature, and a cellular connected. It takes those readings every five minutes and reports that information to the cloud so you can monitor it from any mobile device, tablet, or PC. Now that we're introducing sensor nodes, every time the sensor hub takes readings, it'll then listen to different sensor nodes within your sugar bush It'll capture those readings and transmit that also to the cellular network so you can see it just like you can the sensor node or the sensor hub, all from a mobile device, tablet, or PC. Some common questions we receive is, well, one is, well, what's the expected range of the sensor node to the sensor hub? Well, first, our goal at SASPI is to keep it simple and affordable. To do this, we thought it was best to keep um, a hub and spoke type model. What I mean by that is every sensor node talks directly to the sensor hub. The expected range of uh, between a node and a hub is a quarter mile, even up to a half a mile, depending on your terrain. Most sugar bushes um, you know, within a 40 acres, or maybe a little bit bigger than that, can be covered within sensor nodes, very much dependent upon your terrain. Another common question is battery life. You know, how, how, are, these, how are these things uh, powered? Um, so the sensor hub has a two to four week life on its battery. That's primarily because it's cellular connected. That is really what draws most of the power from the battery. Sensor nodes use a different technology that's low power. Sensor nodes can last um, almost even 12 months consecutive operation, taking readings every five minutes, and reporting those readings to the sensor hub, a single sensor node can go 12 months or longer um, of consec consecutive operation. With an on, a convenient on-off button at the, on the side here, a sensor hub, when it's turned off during the off-season, can last multiple years even uh, without having to recharge the, the internal battery. When it comes time to recharge the battery, you can simply pull the cover off, plug in a USB cable, and where that, that internal battery will become fully charged, and then you're good to, good to go again. Another option is you can just replace that battery with a fully charged one um, to, you know, to make it more convenient to, to swap out the batteries. So this new feature of a, a sensor nodes allow you to keep better tabs on your sugar bush. Sensor nodes is in a limited release for the 2022 season. We're giving first preference to existing by customers, and then secondly, we'll, we're gonna continue to honor the sales until, we're, until our inventory is gone. So order your SASBY today at SASBY.com.